as Rabbi Shmuley correctly said about what Churchill did in World War II. Churchill was wrong. A lot of Churchill was wrong. Okay. Was he a war criminal? Y- yes, he was. Oh, yes, he was. was a war yes, he was. Well, Churchill well, was a war criminal. All the British. Let me. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. We live in a complicated and dangerous world, and it's getting crazier by the day, so it's very good to have moral clarity on things. It's very good to have a system where you know what you are saying is intellectually consistent, right? This is why I am anti-war, right? I'm basically anti-war, knowing that war sometimes is a necessity because the greater good, the greater evil, but that there's no angels in war, all right? There, There... Like, there's no one who's on the side of complete and total pure righteousness. Not until Christ returns will there be a war where there is a righteous side. There are always war crimes in war, and there are always necessities that are barbaric to win wars. That's why I'm against wars. That's why I don't want America to be in wars, because those horrible things will be visited upon my countrymen. And that's actually what I care about. So keep us the hell out of as many wars. It's good to be intellectually consistent. Okay? It's nice. And I didn't used to be this way. It's great to be able to change and adapt. And get, like the left used to be on my side. Anyway, what are, what are we saying here now? Now the world's all gone scrambled eggs and crazy. Check this out. This is from Piers Morgan's show where a British Islamic leader, YouTuber, uh, calls Winston Churchill a war criminal for leading Britain to victory against the Nazis. Let that sink in. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, let it sink in. Here is the clip. Yikes. As Rabbi Shmuley correctly said about what Churchill did in World War II. Churchill was wrong. A lot of it. Churchill was wrong. Okay. Was he a war criminal? Y- yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Churchill was a war criminal. All the British people. Let me do the question. Churchill was a war criminal. Let me do the George VI. Was George VI a war criminal? All of the war criminals. Uh, really? Like it's like all of Yes, of course. So anyone so that's hang on, hang yes, on. Uh, Rabbi Shmuley. War criminal. Let me ask. So let me get this straight. Absolutely. Collective punishment. You think Winston Churchill was a war criminal? In standing up to the Nazis. By killing the babies. Who killed 12 million people. I believe he was a war criminal. By doing what he did was a war criminal. By killing in Dresden and Hamburg. But by, by, by uh, the indiscriminate killing, collective punishment. My morality says that's impossible. Okay, that means the British people who that's supported impossible. him Can't and kill voted children. him in. They were my also, morality says that's just impossible. Just a second, just a second. That's why I but believe. But the British yes. people, yeah. you believe he was a war criminal. Yes. Okay. So, so therefore, you, your belief is that no retaliatory action. No, by you any can retaliate time. to the man, not to the babies. Tell me a war in history. Yes. Where civilians haven't been killed. No, I'm not saying civilians haven't been killed. It's Just about this ratio. Or it's about the ratio. It's no, about no, the ratio. What is the ratio? What's the ratio? 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Actually, morally, 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Actually, morally, you should accept. Okay, well, 100 to 1 is an invention. Hang on, Rabbi Shmuley. So let me give you a ratio. Yeah. How many people do the Nazis kill? I don't know. You don't know. We know, six, mi- we, know, we know they killed 6 million They killed 12 million people. I don't know. So we don't including know. 6 million Jews. Sure. Right? Sure. So 12 million, 12 million how, many died in, how many died in Dresden? How many civilians died in Germany? Do you know? I don't know exactly. Right. Right. So you don't actually know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about because you I know in, in Dresden Churchill, and Hamburg. You said it's about... Ki- you, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, go ahead. Unless I'm wrong, yeah, go ahead. you said it's to do with the... Ratios. The ratios. Yes. But you don't know the ratios. When no, you no, call, I know for a fact. You Dresden call and Winston Ham- Churchill. Well, what are the numbers? Dresden and Hamburg. What are the numbers? Dresden 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 Wait a minute, Rabbi Shmuley. When you call Winston Churchill a criminal, yeah, I believe you're basing criminal. it on ratios, you don't even know what they are. No, I know for no. We, uh, there's difference of opinion among the, uh, the scholars. No, there isn't. There is difference. Say, there tell is. us course, the opinions. What, what are they? Tell, tell us. Tell us what they are. Hold on. There's of How many in Dresden? Excuse me. Stop speaking. How many in Dresden? Am I speaking to you? How many in Dresden? Whatever the number. You don't know. If it's indiscriminate, I'm against it. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Rabbi Shmuley, you respond. Dresden's about twenty-five thousand. And uh, at the time, the, the Germans were saying 250,000. We know it's about 25,000 today. Let me, be, let me be clear. Winston Churchill was the greatest statesman of the 20th century. He saved pretty. the world from I agree. Nazi terror. Yeah. That you could live in a country that is only around today because of the bravery of that man showing no gratitude is the height of... Stick on topic. Stick on topic. And to call all the British people who defeated the Nazis... Stick on topic. Stick on topic. Stick on topic. Stop interrupting me. Stick on topic. 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 His parents, all the other people who are criminals... Let me ask you a question. It's wrong. No, no, no. Let me be clear. Off topic. Let me be clear. Don't interrupt each other. So, I mean, I'm one for nuance and arguments, okay? Like, I get it. People have come from different perspectives and have different opinions on the world. But World War II is one of those things, especially if you live in Europe and you live in Britain, uh, that you got to kind of understand, like, there was indiscriminate bombings all the time. That's how World War II was fought of civilian populations, including in London, where presumably you live and where you're filming the show. Uh, These are things that British people 
native born British people had to deal with, their grandparents had to deal with. This is very important and horrible. And these things happened and a lot of people died. That was the way that World War II was fought. We didn't have the kind of sophistication we had today. So that's a pretty absurd argument. More importantly, though, if you're anti Winston Churchill in World War II, oh no, what does that mean? Well, it means that, that you're at least in a tertiary sense, pro Hitler. Okay. Not a great look, uh, historically. So yikes, dude, why don't you just come out and say it? These people make a very terrible job of making an argument. Okay. It's kind of a guy like when Zelensky goes and applauds the guy who fought the Russians in world war two in Ukraine, whose side were you on? Whose side were you on? I mean, come out and say it, right? Zelensky has, or he's integrated the Azov Battalion and so forth into the Ukrainian army, uh, yada, yada. But I mean, nonetheless, not, not a great, if you're trying to convince people, not a great look. If you're trying to be an emissary for Islam, right? The prophet Muhammad was a war criminal by this definition because he allowed the killing of women and children indiscriminately, uh, fought wars all across the lands of the Middle East. This guy keeps destroying Islam, people are saying online. Uh, and he says the reference here, shall we? Uh, uh, the prophet of Allah, when asked about the killing of women and children, uh, they are from them. Okay, whatever. I, you know, yeah, literally, I, I don't. Chap okay, permissibility of killing women and children in night raids as long as it is not done deliberately. Okay, yikes. Well, seems like this guy knows his stuff. Uh, I, I don't, I've never read the Quran, but yeah, bad look, dude, bad look, bro. It seems like you're a, a it seems like you're a, a strange, uh, like a strange, strange argument to make, right? Pro Hitler, anti your own religion. Good luck, pal. Good luck. So anyway, uh, this guy, YouTube Islamist preacher, Piers Morgan show, Winston Churchill, a war criminal. He has branded him. Again, on some level, you maybe are assuming that like he's just trying to get clicks here, right? And trying to like, I don't know, poke the beehive. Philosopher and scholar, Mohammed Hijab. That's his name, Mohammed Hijab. Sounds like a South Park name, but okay. Mohammed Hijab, former, uh, the former prime minister, Winston Churchill, uh, killed babies and is a war criminal. In an angry rant, the row broke out on Piers Morgan's show with Mr. Hijab uh, and Rabbi Shmuley. Uh, in response to a point raised by Rabbi Shmuley uh, that Churchill carpet bombed much of Germany in 1940s in response to the uh, to genocide, Mr. Hijab said the British leader was wrong. Um, again, there are no angels in the side of war. You, like, what else do you want from me? America has never fought a perfect war. Far from it. There are always war crimes in war. That's why they call them war crimes, right? Like this sort of whitewashing of history as though there's some someone on the side of the angels isn't true. Even when America is fighting, obviously, right? That's just reality. But people don't live in reality anymore. So the guy had no idea how many people were killed in Dresden, right? He brings up the firebombing of Dresden, which is absolutely controversial. And that's why it's important to be intellectually consistent here, right? And say, yeah, this is totally controversial. Uh, uh, the American, Rabbi Shmuley, blasted Mr. Hijab for showing no gratitude for the revered figure uh, uh, and for the nation that he lives in and accused him of trading in falsehoods. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess it's made for TV, but also... It's made for our modern times because people are just so stupid. Gen Zers who think Osama bin Laden is an anti-capitalist freedom fighter. How influencers who quit her Amazon job to make $9,000 a month online became the poster girl for TikTokers sharing 9-11 terror masterminds letter to America. That was most likely written by the CIA anyway and not by Osama bin Laden. Come on. I mean, you guys be smart here, right? Like, come on. Come on. So anyway, Gen, Gen Z... Gen Z um, making Osama bin Laden a uh, cult hero, 
Didn't have that in my bingo card, but not surprised anymore. We just live in really stupid times. But most importantly, we live in times that are run by dirty communists who like to impart a mind virus into your brain that says that oppressors and oppressed is the only way that the whole world works, right? There's the, the victimizers and the victimized. And this is the workers versus the people who own the means of production, right? The bourgeois. This is just basic Marxism. And everything is permissible if you're oppressed. Everything. September 11th is permissible, according to these people, if you're oppressed. Adolf Hitler is permissible to these people, as you literally saw in the clip, if you're oppressed. Okay, the oppressor can do no wrong. Correction, the oppressed can do no wrong in fighting the oppressor. And wow, that is gonna be a very terrifying reality to live in. It has been a terrifying reality for the hundreds of millions of people who've died under the boot of communism uh, in the last century. And well, it retains and remains uh, quite terrifying when people like this have no effing clue what they're talking about. And people like this who have no effing clue what they're talking about. Holy moly. I mean, if you're going to go with that, bro, if you're going to go with that, like if, if your argument's going to be like Hitler was on the right side of World War II, say it. Let people hear you. Okay? Be a man. Let people hear you. If that's your argument, then then go for it, dude. Go for it. I'm I'm one for nuance, but I'm also one for like large scale, grander ideas. And if that's your idea, let people hear it. Okay? Just be honest. All right? Just like Zelensky applauding the Nazi in Canada. Just be honest. Be your true self. It's your boy, Benny. You'll find our true selves here on this channel. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.